Radical jihadists tonight are calling for the head of Texas free speech event organizer Pamela Geller. A chilling online post reportedly written by an American jihadist warns that Geller cannot hide and that she will be killed for daring to hold a cartoon contest. Now, the post also claims that ISIS has trained over 70 fighters in 15 states right here in America who are ready to react. And anyway, joining us now to respond to these new threats against her life, Pam Geller, also with us, radical London imam, and that's Anjum Chowdhury, uh, is back with us. Pam, before I get to your side of the story, I want to remind people about Anjum. He's been on the program before. Uh, you want worldwide Sharia, is that correct? Of course, yeah. We believe that the whole world right. should be uh, governed by divine law. And you support the idea that women can drive, correct? That's a Saudi rule, although women can drive. It's up to the head of the Islamic State and, to decide and you how believe the rules that of segregation should be applied. Muslims that leave the religion apostate should be killed. Well, of course, the Prophet said whoever changes his din, kill him. So this and, is the job and, of the state right, to And gays and lesbians should be killed. I'm just reminding my audience of your position. And gays and lesbians, the penalty for that is death, correct? Well, you know, if they, if, they, if, if they do the act publicly and they are witnesses, it does carry capital punishment, yes. Uh, okay, now, let me go to you, Pam. Uh, this is a serious threat. Basically, a fatwa, a death threat, has now been issued. Uh, your reaction to that, have you, have you had any contact with the FBI? They have not contacted me, but of course, we've now increased my team. I, I have a team now, private security, and n NYPD counter terror has been in touch with in me. In touch with you. And so, yes, we'll, we'll all be did working together. Did you reach together. out to the FBI? I did. And they have, the Homeland Security hasn't gotten a hold of you? I, the I, FBI hasn't gotten a hold of you? No, and this is interesting because this is a terrorist threat. And the FBI, President Obama, should provide security. There's yeah. just no, there's no question about it because he created an environment that raised the stakes on this. If you recall, I had a free speech conference on September 11th in 2012. I had Lars Vilks, a cartoonist there. Uh, it was, it was for freedom of speech. Yeah. And the fact is, uh, nobody uh, tried to, nobody, right. nobody tried to attack it. Uh, nobody reported on it, but that same day, the Cairo embassy was attacked, Benghazi was attacked, they flew the flag of jihad on top of the Cairo embassy, and our U.S. embassy apologized. Let me, they apologized for let insulting Let me go to Mr. Islam. Chowdhury. All right. All these incidents over a cartoon, Anjum, all these incidents over a cartoon, do you support this death threat against Pam Geller because she ran a, a free speech contest drawing cartoons of your profit? Let's be absolutely clear. We're not talking about Mickey Mouse or Donald Duck. You're talking about people who deliberately had a competition to insult the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. To make cartoons. If you saw the cartoons so you support drawn, the death. If you saw the cartoons, just bear with me, Sean. If you saw the cartoons that Charlie Hebdo drew, you would understand the anger. And now this woman wants to draw cartoons or have people draw cartoons to insult the Prophet, knowing full well that this carries the death penalty in Islam. So definitely, she's so you asking support people this. to attack. You support the death penalty for Pam Geller, security on the day. Who doesn't eat, who's, not a, who's not Muslim. You support the death penalty because she had a cartoon contest. Is that how, is that how frail you are in your faith? That you feel so you know, insecure that you cannot. It's not about me. It's about prophet, the divine law. Your prophet Whoever cannot withstand the a cartoon being drawn about him. Him. That will carry capital punishment, Sean. So it's you want my personal you, want, you, know you support well. the death row. You, you want to kill her. And the sunnah of the prophet. You want her to die. You know what? She should be put before a Sharia court and tried. And She's if found guilty, Muslim. of course she will face capital punishment. She's not a Muslim, Anjum. She's not a Muslim. She doesn't believe she should have what you believe. That before you she don't had believe in liberty and freedom you know, and you freedom of speech. You want to from, oppress uh, her over Theo a cartoon. Van Gogh and, uh, and Salman Rushdie and Hasi Ali. You cannot continue to go down this road and expect the Muslims to stand back. You know, I would uh, retaliate if someone insulted my own mother, let alone the Prophet, who I adhere and you know I, I love a hundred times so more than my own family. So if anybody says anything Come against on, your, your Pope Prophet said that, that you don't like, someone if someone attacked his mother, what about the Prophet? If somebody says something about your Prophet that you don't like, you want them dead. Any prophet. Your prophet. You know, if they said that about Jesus or Moses or Abraham or yeah, the prophet yeah, right. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it's well, the same wait, difference. Wait a minute, because there was a punishment. crucifix submerged in urine and I didn't hear you or any other Muslim say that, that this person ought to get the death penalty, Andre Serrano. There was an elephant dung thrown on a picture of you the know, Virgin Mary. I you know, didn't hear Sean, you or any other Muslim let me tell condemn you something. that or threaten in this death country, there. In this country, they depicted Isa alayhi salam, Jesus, as a homosexual. That was called Corpus Christi 
and you the support Holloway, the death uh, of them if too. You like, Road Theatre, the, the Pleasant Theatre, and we had a demonstration, and Christians were coming to us and saying that we should have been out there. So right. we always raise our voice, no matter which prophet of Allah, you know, has been attacked. And what I would say to you Here's and the, the American difference. people is, instead Here, of insulting the prophets, why don't you follow them? Why don't you abide by what they say? Well, it's a because they don't absurd. agree with you. The very people we don't, who live, in your, we don't from. live under your Here, oppressive here's the key, Sharia law. Here's right. the key you will do one day to show the Sharia is coming to America, as you well know. Here is the key and critical difference. Canon law pertains to, Christi to Catholics. Jewish law pertains only to Jews. But the Sharia, yeah. the, the, which is a, the, dictates every basic aspect of human life, Asserts its That's authority over non-Muslims. The Jews and Christians can live under the Sharia. Oh, yes, 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 the Sharia asserts its authority over non-Muslims, unlike Jewish law and unlike canon law, which is why the, um, under the Sharia, they're slaughtering the Christians, they're slaughtering secular Muslims across Africa and across the Muslim world. The fact is, in that fatwa that was issued against me, my name is preceded by Kanzir. Now, Kanzir means pig. It's the word Muhammad used before he slaughtered, how many, I should, beheaded, hundreds of Jews. So to first say to the liberal media that this is not religious is absurd and obscene on its face. To blame me and say that my cartoons are controversial, excuse me, murdering cartoons, but murdering cartoonists is controversial. And it is the jihadis that made this a flashpoint, not me. And does anyone really think that these jihadis would have just been peaceful, uh, loving Americans? Okay, can I of come course, back to of that? Of course they wouldn't. I, I submit you to know, you that our all, conference first of all, saved. Pamela. Uh, no, I'm talking, sorry. I know you're used to stepping over women, but you're not going to have it here, okay? My conference saved lives because I understand the threat, and we had enormous protection, and the Garland police were superb. But those jihadists drove a thousand miles for this conference. Would they have hit a mall? Would they have hit a coffee shop like in Australia? Or kids? Or th that conference okay. saved lives. And shame, shame on the cowardly right, let's go media. Let's back to the imam. Go well, ahead. Pamela, first of all, the word khanzir, I think, is too good for you in the first place, you know. At least the khanzir worships Allah. The fact is that you insulted the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and obviously you knew the consequences. Otherwise, you wouldn't have what had thousands mean, of the dollars worth of security. I live when in America. About, when you talk about I murdering, live in America. When you talk about murdering there are innocent no consequences. people, the United States of America are the champions of murdering innocent people. The champions of freedom, you sir. You people. The and CIA look how you can't it. take it. Exactly look how you want to kill people. In Syria look how you want to kill people. Are Muslims occupying America? Hold I think on. you'll find oh, excuse that the Americans me. are occupying Muslim Mr. land. Mr. Mr. Chowdhury. Up, they are the ones Chowdhury. who kill up to a million people Angem. in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah, you are, you are in the name of the land. One at a time. Killing, uh, Americans and others in self-defense. Let me ask you a question. Well. We have yes. watched, in the name of your religion, your so-called prophet, we have seen people's heads cut off. We have seen girls kidnapped. We have seen girls raped. We have seen girls uh, thrown into slavery and impregnated by radicals in, your, in the name of your religion. Is this, what you, is this the prophet that you praise so much? Is that, is that Islam you know, Sean, to you? Sean, Excuse me. Exists, uh, answer that, that question. Is that Islam to you? News. Is that Islam to you? I'll tell you, you something, Sean. That reality only exists, exists in Fox, Fox Excuse News. Excuse me. I Nobody's have, being raped. I, I have the no images of Coptic Christians on a beach I, I, simultaneously the beheaded in, country, in the name of Allah. Are treated as subordinate whores. You're the one who believe in pornography. You're the one who put so naked women's cars. So if you disagree with pornography, you're going to cut somebody's head off? dignified. I'm sorry, Sean, you're living in a cloud cuckoo land. That is Fox News. I'm Our living in cuckoo dignified. land, you and you rape young women. girls you and kidnap young state. girls in the name of Boko Haram and Allah? And and Allah? No women are being raped. The only women being raped excuse me, uh, those Sean, girls are the ones got in your Have a look at the statistics. Nigeria, excuse me, they're pregnant. And they were raped after they were kidnapped you know, and taken they, away they, from the, the, the arms of their mothers, sir. Islam. In the, the women over there embrace Islam. The, the people are being killed in Nigeria. All over the, the world in the name of Islam. In the name of your prophet. The Nigerian regime by bad luck, you know, uh, Jonathan and his own uh, successor, not by the You're Muslims. Pathetic. We are the ones You're who are defending pathetic. ourselves, Sean. Wake up. You're we just defend pathetic. ourselves in Syria, in Iraq, in Chechnya. You're evil in India, and in pathetic. Kashmir. Right, you know, we're we defending go. ourselves, Sean. Thank wake you, up, Pam. Really. We'll give you the last you know, word. You have this so called woman on your show. We'll give you, excuse me, you have to be quiet. There's another term, person here. Roman Catholics don't like when their religion is mocked, but no one talks about provoking them. Christians don't like it, Jews don't like it. But this is what it takes to live in a pluralistic society. 
you have the right to offend and be offended. You know, I, every time I, but, I put Andrew on, let me tell you something. People will complain that we put him on. This is the problem. He believes this. A lot of people And a do. lot of people believe this. And there's a lot of terror in the name of Islam, in the name of the prophet, that is happening. And you know what? People ought not get killed over a cartoon. And that's what's happening. But why don't we expect that from the Muslim world? We all understand that there's a right to offend. You know, they don't like the, the, the Christ uh, on the cross in a jar of urine or the elephant dung. We didn't like it. We didn't kill anybody. There's Holocaust denial ca ca cartoon conferences. The Jews didn't kill anybody. What is this uh, so, the low expectation of soft bigotry? Why don't we expect that from the Muslim world? In that sense, why it's almost condescending that we would expect less. That's exactly right. Well said. All right, I got a break. Thank you. Appreciate it. And I hope you stay safe.